Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson. A few thunderstorms isolated in nature popping up. You can see them on Hutch'sWeather.com on the interactive radar, but we'll go over the details of where these storms are, where they're roaming, and what the risks are coming up right now. A Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks to my fine sponsors at Robert Gibbon Sons. Would you keep them in mind if you have any mechanical needs whatsoever serving our area for over 110 years? Two warnings to uh, let you know about. We'll start with the southernmost one here that is working its way into portions of Wells County uh, through Sheridan County uh, at this particular time. This is a warning for one inch diameter hail and 60 mile per hour wind gust potential for the storm. Now this potential is going to be in isolated areas of this polygon that you see here. Not everybody will see that. This warning is in effect until 815, moving east at about 24 miles per hour. We can go ahead and track for you where these uh, cells are going to be here in the upcoming few moments. Number one, the uh, hail core right in the middle of that north central parts of Sheridan County is going to skirt very close to or just south of Harvey, but it will be near the Harvey area by 758 and 827 if it keeps roaming the prairies of eastern North Dakota towards Pheasanton. And that's a look at that particular uh, cluster of thunderstorms or thunderstorm cell isolated in nature. Again, that hail core, as you can see right here uh, in the blues, just south of Animus, moving along and south of that Highway 52 corridor at this time. Let's go zooming out and let's go zooming right back in. This storm here has a history of some sizable hail south of West Hope with one and three quarter inch diameter hail reported from that. That was seven miles south southwest of West Hope, a little farther south, more of that three one or excuse me, inch and three quarter uh, diameter hail out there. Uh, it was it's recorded to be a softer hail, so maybe not rock ice hard, but that storm is heading towards Willy, Willow City. And it's warning here, if you take a look, this is for some significant damage threat or considerable damage. One and three quarter inch diameter hail, 60 mile per hour uh, winds, and this warning is in effect for the next... 15 minutes. So again, with the movement of this storm as advertised here by the National Weather Service at 31 miles per hour to the southeast, let's go ahead and highlight a couple of communities that may be in the path of this roaming uh, hail storm here with big time hail working its way down to the south and to the east. So if you are in Willow City, you can expect that by about 7.50, in the Barton area and Rugby by 8.31. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. These storms will remain isolated tonight. You can see this little outflow boundary working its way towards Bismarck. We may see a couple of more storms forming. Models suggest thunderstorms along the international border will roam tonight with a low severe weather risk but not zero. I'll keep my eyes on things. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you to follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and as storms approach your area tonight, check up on, um, on my page here, hutchesweather.com, to see the very latest in where they're going and whether there's warnings in your area.